So we can welcome YouTube over as well. We're going to be trying out Space Engineers for the next hour. And we will end up doing more in the future if it leaves a good first impression. So let's see. We're going to start a new game. We recommend that you view these tutorial links. Oh no. Oh no. Is there no in-game tutorial? I have a big bugbear about games that expect you to watch videos. Let's uh... You can always view these from the help screen later. Okay. Scenarios Workshop Custom Game. Primarily a sandbox game which features non-linear story, story gameplay that's defined by goals and objectives present in default scenarios. Or those created by players. So the first jump. Keen Software, Offline, so this isn't a co-op one. This scenario offers a linear story with action-packed gameplay while the majority of space engineer scenarios... Okay, yeah, so learning to survive... So this is like base building, this is like ship combat, and then this is a mixture of both. Survival world with high-end content. And that one is playable online, there you go. You're fighting drones and stuff in that one. But these two are not online. Well, we'll hopefully I'll have tutorialization then, because we'll, we'll try the first jump and see what happens. Hello, Wacky. Make a Death Star? I'm sure people have. In fact, can anyone quickly go to the, like, the Steam Workshop and see if there's a Death Star? They might have to like slightly change the name for it to be allowed, so look for like the Spleth Star and see if that works. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, etc. That's close! Yeah, the Murder Sun, that's pretty good. Oh, there's no AI, okay. Good bot. Wait, is that some, does that say bat? No. There is a Death Star. Knew it. Press F to leave Cargo Pod 4. Okay. Oh, mouse sensitive is a little high. And K was like ship interaction. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Psycon, for 25 months uh, with a tier one sub. Please go to the ship's bridge. So look around with the mouse, follow the GPS. F to open. Wow, why is it not E though? I do like that we're team blue. Yeah, we are indeed. Can confirm we are in space. Wait, this is a door? I probably shouldn't do that yet. Docking to station is in progress. This is all automated. Th that hit us. That's gonna hit us. Hmm. Go to the air airlock located in the lower deck. We are gonna stop, right? Hmm. It looks like this place has seen better days. Oh. I see a fire. Thank you, Mostly Dead Zombie, for the bits to get us started. Space to you too. Airlock. Airlock. Oxygen is essential to astronaut performance. Use the starboard button panel to dispense a new oxygen bottle. I don't know where starboard is. Oh. Oh, there it was. F to use time block oxa bottle. Ah. Okay. I have oxygen. Movement outside pressurized environment without helmet is not great. I've got a helmet, so that's fine. Toggle your helmet by pressing J. Wait, is it, was it off before? Oh, I think the visor was... How do I, can I hold right click and see myself? Hmm. Because now I'm not sure whether I've left it up or down. <laughs> Uh-oh. Watch out for aliens in the vent. I am getting that kind of vibe. K to set up panels? Or do we just open with the port button here? It's pointing at the red panel. It's this button here then. Yeah, there we go. Well, we're not instantly dead, so I assume the visor is up. I'm surprised there's, like, gravity, though. 
Station is reporting heavy damage to systems. I'll say. Okay. Cycle the airlock. I feel like I should have a gun. Okay, so we need to get to the upper floor. Is that a gun over there? No, that's a ship. Hello, Kitty. Center's up here. Seat crouch. At least that's a button that makes sense. Actually, you know what? The helmet in the bottom left is highlighted because it's on. Major hull breach. Safeguards won't allow doors to open until pressurization is restored. Okay. Investigate the nearby panel and attempt to close the blast doors. Hello, Rogue. Do we have any, like, space engineer aficionados in chat? Having played it before? Oh, Lord Cyclone does play. Okay, so presumably starting with this was the best bet. Pressurization in progress. Standing by. You've got a few hundred hours in it, it's meh. Okay, that's fair. Still doing the pressurization thing, I think. Yep, there we go. Safeguard doors are open, continue to the command center. Suit malfunction detected, energy levels are dropping. Visit a recharging station. Is that this? Oh, it's changed my appearance. Uh, honestly, I'm fine with being blue. For now. That's ammo, isn't it? Oh, missed a component. Recharge energy at the medical bay. Hold F key. Number five is alive. Oh, now I have a welder. Okay. Push the door, hold left mouse button, start welding. I'm going to have a hard time remembering all these buttons when the time comes. That's probably not good. Everything's exploding! Oh. You'll have to jump over the brakes in order to get to the... Oh. I didn't jump over the brake. That's okay. They let you fail the first one with no penalty. Oh, I accidentally found first person there. <laughs> Did I just run into something and it hit my head there? That doesn't open from this side. I must flee! I'm trying a new can of juice I got. It's Tango Sugar Free Strawberry and Watermelon. Clearly, like, for summer, but it's real nice. Oh, this is going to link into the next tutorial, which was the base building thing. Yeah, 
Okay, good. Arrow S4. It's recommended to equip yourself with backup oxygen and hydrogen bottles. There are spare bottles in the cargo container on the floor. Oh, we're sideways. Press I to open the inventory of the small hydrogen. How do I... You for this. You for this. I see a gun and ammo. Okay. Oh, there's no gravity. How do I... Ah, there you go. Oh, I think we might be where the wizards come from. Toggle your jetpack on and off with X. There, okay. It's faster to have it on, but presumably it uses up fuel or something. C is descend when you're... Turning it off also makes you descend, I guess. Ow. <laughs> you didn't find the tutorial super helpful? Yeah, I'll definitely give a custom map a go. I just wanted to like learn the buttons. Or as many of the buttons as I'm going to remember once they finish this. This place has seen better days. Explore the base, find a way deeper into the facility. Okay, control tower will do. Pretty fancy looking. Can we do anything about life support? Cryo chambers. Oh good god, this looks complicated. Your roommate drinks banana juice. Ooh. Oop, try not to smash into the windows. Gravity generator? I don't think I should headbutt the windows. Although, hang on, why am I using the stairs like some kind of pleb? Security lockdown can be lifted from here. Oh, right, there's more stuff down there. Makes sense in space there would be no noise, I suppose. The main shaft is now accessible. Why is it going so deep? Because dwarves built this. Oh, discombobulated myself there a little bit. In fact, isn't that up? Yeah, this is down. <laughs> sure, I'll get into this elevator. This better not be a Sarlacc pit. Also, why is it doing that? Ow! It went down with such force. It's saved. The answers lie in these tunnels. Do they though? Oh, 
of those mining ships. Ow. <laughs> Gotta stop just ramming myself into walls at high velocity. Is that a Necron Obelisk? Is that a robot? Security drones, I see. Secure drone is activating, fight or flee from the drones, get back to the main shaft. Ah, too strong. <laughs> that one really hurt. Sealed the blast door, there must be another route accessing schematics to get to the elevator. See you in hell, sucker! Oh. Uh oh. It seems to be struggling a little bit. This is fine. Elevator into diagnostic mode. Oh, okay, we still have to get off here. Key to open terminal I for small container. Ooh. Ammo. Hydrogen. Sure. I feel like I should be equipped with the gun. How do I pull out a gun? Is that going to activate? Apparently not. Unlock landing gears by pressing P. P for landing gear. W to fly out of the hangar. Use the same controls for jetpack to fly your ship. Okay, it's like No Man's Sky controlling basically. I want to have a look at where it came from and then shoot it. I don't have any guns. It's fine. Really got to scroll the mouse to make some distance, though. Some afterburners? Doesn't seem like it. Hello, Viking. I made it to safety, unless I just spontaneously explode. Actually, that doesn't look like safety. We didn't realize that our sole cooperative representative was aboard the station when we attacked. <clears throat> Employed by ROS to build and operate the facility we just left, or I just left. Okay, so baddies stole it, covered their tracks. Need to go aboard their ship. I don't trust them. Ruined camp. So this is the base building one now then.
former settlement. There used to be a hundred of us here, but now there's not. Oops. I made the alert go weird for some reason. Thank you, Rokal, for 17 months with a tier 1 sub. Heidi ho it's been so long. Thanks for all the great content. You're very welcome. Oh, we're in. Planning assault on the Corporation fleet. We need every ship we can get. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Access denied. Solar powers need... Wait, the solar panels need power to kickstart them. Okay. Spare parts for the battery. Presumably there's breathable oxygen here. Double clip items. Okay. I think about maximum weight. Hopefully that's enough. We'll just leave the rest there for now. Tool bar screen is G. Add a battery. Oh god. Battery. I have a battery. Place the battery on the red platform by pressing left mouse. Red platform. Open the tool screen, press G, switch to the tab character tools and add your welder to your toolbar. So the progress is on the right there. And now I need more power cells, which we can get from in here, because I left them. Oh, I see. It's, you can keep going, but it's already functional. Into the hangar by using the elevator. <clears throat> Activate the hangar control station to receive current ship status. ship status. It requires uranium from storage. Okay, that's for fuel presumably. Not really sure I should be handling a hundred uranium, but whatever. Give it. Eureka! It's alive! Need the grinder tool to get some required materials for repairing your ship. Find them at the storage. Is there a door here? Grinder, oxygen, etc. Try the grinder tool on the old thruster behind me. I 
I shall. Do need to worry about kids or will they be nurglings? They'd be poxwalkers. You now have the necessary components to complete repairs. The damaged highlight uh, thruster is highlighted. Repairs are not complete. I want to be a hundred percent. Okay, now they're complete. Use button one to extend the connector. Use button two to lock it. Ow. Ow. Activate piston. Lock it. Oh, it's giving the ship hydrogen, okay. Button 2 to unlock and disconnect. Body check that one. Reactors ready, hydrogen tank ready, ammunition does that say below? Ready, status ready, etc, etc. Neat. Press F to enter the highlighted flight seat. Oh boy, I'm gonna crash this something fierce. V key to toggle first third person view. Press and hold space to key uh, space key to thrust up and save and clear the hangar. Hang on, so I was to okay, if I do first person, that's the kind of view we're getting. Third person is better for this, I feel. Can I hold right click and look around my ship? No. Wee! Autopilot enabled. Hello, sir. <clears throat> the red ones are the baddies. Use the missile turret. Access the flight seat by person one, two, three, or four. That ally ship's about to smash into me. Now like 10 of them are going to arrive. Oh, maybe not. Red does mean faster, yes. Mission 4, Final Confrontation. Oop. I don't think I flew the ship very well. Ship reactor meltdown imminent. Yep, did not go well. Welp. We have something for you. Is it a way off this planet? Ooh, a rover. Seeing a little gander in here. Precise automatic rifle. Ho ho ho. Now I have a tank. Is that an enemy? I thought I saw something in the distance there. I wasn't sure what it was. It's a Lego fort. Press 2 to toggle the handbrakes. 
Press 2 key to toggle handbrakes, 4 and 5 to control turrets. F key to exit a turret. Could I activate the left one now? Better go third person for now, I think. Drive the tank and breach the base defences. Look, the gun's firing automatically. That would be a missile. I don't think there's anyone in this with me, I think it's just it's all made firing defence thing. Are they shooting my own vehicle there? Usable ship wreckage. Tank is no longer operable. Yeah, it is. Not sure what I'm meant to be hitting over there. One of the closer wrecks would probably be a better idea so I can see what I'm doing. Overshot ever so slightly. It really should have taught me how to equip a gun before this. Oh god. I killed myself by bouncing into the ship. <laughs> Let's hurry more speed. Less cracked bones too. You don't just stop when you turn off your jetpack, you keep bouncing. Which part is this from? Before I got to the... Yeah. Just drive this right next to the ship I was trying to get into that time. Over here. The old made turrets can handle the drones. Yeah, they definitely shoot themselves. It's not that many of them. A couple more drones in that little thing on the ground as well. Ramming speed and this oh never mind. Ramming speed will not be required. Ah, why am I still moving? Ah, don't run me over. Gotcha. 
See, I'm not sure. Is that my ally ship? What are they doing? I'm not sure if I've opened the door or not. Take that. I'm gonna have to go in and see. But first, G. Character tools. Character weapons. Can I aim down sights? Yes, I can. Did it again! Kind of calm, calm. I did destroy it. Okay, I don't think I can destroy that. Their effect is close and more likely so is the CEO of the company who is probably not going to be happy to see you. We're going to meet evil businessmen who's behind everything. This is going to be the combat tutorial. Small ships and drones. These ships are unlocked, I recommend borrowing one for the encounter. Okay. I've blown that up. Shoot those blocks, it will interrupt hostile drone programming. Okay. Newly made drones will exit through these tubes. It was worth it! That's the evil guy. Thank you, Chris B, for 28 months with Twitch Prime. Oh, hey, it's that thing. It's been nearly 84 years. Keep up the amazing work. I'll be here. Thank you. I was kind of hoping for third-person view, but it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, there we go. Survive until next exposure. Survive until the hack is complete. Hack complete in one minute ten. Very dramatic. Hmm. Run, it's the evil donut tyrant. Have you been running your chat with an iron fist? Or iron bit of dough? I don't know. It's pretty easy to survive until something's done if nothing challenges me while I'm doing it.
He runs my chat like that? How dare you? Do I have like an ammunition camp for this gun somewhere? Destroy more red drones. Hey, I already destroyed that one before it even started. Large ship detected. Recommend evasive maneuvers. Where? Ah, above. I'm not over there, buddy. Oh, he's gonna land in the big fan. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, oh, he's not, no, 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 he's not gonna fall. Oh, okay, there he goes. Did at least four cartwheels. I need to like leave the ship. I guess so. Oh. Take me to the Necron home world. How many times do you want me to approach the artifact? There. <clears throat> oh, away I go. To Necron Tomb World. Alright, so that was the tutorial story. Now we're free to make our own mistakes. That did also take up most of the hour. Well, new game. So we did all that stuff, right? Uh, or do we want learn to survive? Or just go to never surrender. High-end content. Lord Saigon, what am I want to be doing? All of that was just the first jump. Okay. Well, until I know whether or not any of my regulars want to get this, I guess we should do the other solo one. This seems like, yeah, this is all the survival stuff. Well, we'll see the start of this then for the hour of, and then if we can continue, the rest of it will be in a proper first part. Custom game will let you do a solar system. By solar system, or by let you, does it just mean, or do you just mean, here's some space, do what you like, rather than having like a guided narrative? Oh, we get introduced to a uh, good bot here. <laughs> Maybe you should have played this one first then, huh? We're in space. No narrative, just build and survive. Is there enemies? Like AI enemies? Oh, my F1 button is stuck, actually. That's weird. 
Hang on. Eh. What the hell happened to my control uh, my keyboard <laughs> to break my F1 button? It's a good job it's not used for anything. Yeah, that is that needs to come out. Which I can't do right now, unfortunately. I didn't notice it was like that. I don't have anything thin enough to jimmy it open. Hmm. Nope. Oh wait, that may do. The silica packet from uh, some beef jerky. Well, either way, at least it opened the thing. But I don't want it constantly trying to open it, like like so. Oh, that is well and truly stuck there. I haven't spilled anything on my keyboard. If you set it to have encounters, it will have encounters. Okay. It's, it's stuck in there. Okay, at least it isn't constantly registering me pressing it. Can you ask me about anything in the... Yep, okay. Doesn't seem to be very much to this base, because we're kind of just... On an asteroid? You can enable disable good bot. Okay. So I guess we'll go back into first person for now. It's a gravity generator. So there's a goal over there, which I guess I can just fly to, and there's a goal up there. Oh, I have a ship. It's got all my basic tools. Okay. Hold F to recharge and heal. But it's offline though. Uh, this has no oxygen and no power if I'm reading the bomb right correctly, so it needs to be powered up from the base, presumably. These are the earlier tutorials before they made a proper one. Ah. Any item accepted by the... Uh, so we need to... We need to give it oxygen there then, which was in storage anyway, right? Yeah. Oxygen and hydrogen. So is that the... Is that the ship powered now? Oh, but then, well, yeah, you can press P to power it on, but I thought it said it had no, um... Like, the bottom right there says it has nothing. I also seem to be stuck against this. Why is toggle power on and off? Okay, that's power off for sure. That's power on. Lance the landing gear off. Still can't leave. Press F to use task ship show HUD off and on. Do it through the console or use your grinder. I would like to use my grinder, please. There, I quote unquote disabled it. Huh. 
a simple enough first person view for this ship because I guess this is just a basic one. Ooh, too fast, too fast. Doesn't have nearly as much maneuverability as the other one. Not sure what that is in there. Is that a landing hatch there? Can I, like, land on that? Oh! Probably not, huh? Hello, Lustin! Beacon created by me, I beg to differ. Well, there's certainly stuff in here. Is that like a broken mining ship? Where's the marker for here? Through there. It is powered on, but it's broken. Batteries are incomplete, interior light is incomplete, thruster is not working. I don't have the th oh yeah there we are. I don't have the things to make it. No. So was that just to come over here and find that ship? A pretty impressive station. Yeah. Shut up, baby. I know it. Do you perhaps have the things I require? Yeah, a lot of stuff. I'll settle for barely functional, that's basically how I live every day. Still need the batteries. I don't know where the batteries on this thing are located. Oh, is that them? No. Ah. That restored power. Computer times two. That's a hell of a third person view you've got there. Uh, there we are. Oh wait, so the light means on? Or off in the landing gears case? That's confusing. Let me out. I've noticed a divine, uh, design flaw with this ship if I can't do the middle part too.
there we are. I got out. Take that, asteroid face. Oh, there's nickel there and silicon or slicon. No, it is silicon. Iron. Well, I ain't doing mining in a tutorial, so let's quickly check what it wants us to do over there. On second thoughts, this ship uh, moves as slow as molasses, so I will take the other one. Where did I exit from just now? Ah. Take that doorway. Much faster. Oh, there's also the unknown signal. T minus seven minutes. Is that how long until it gets here, or how long it would take me to get to it? Wait, that's the starting base. I recognize those. I think that's not the one we just came from. how long until it despawns. Okay, in that case, let's just go have a quick gander at it then. We'll get there. The ship is freezing because it has no internal oxygen. See you. I am my bad. I don't know my own speed sometimes. It's getting further away because I, I knocked it. Wait, it's really getting far away. What the hell? How hard did I hit it? Also, where's my ship? <laughs> yeah, where's my ship? Is that it? It's on my ship. Uh, hmm. This is just a tutorial, it's not like proper, but it is a single player mode, yeah. Was my ship still moving uh, at speed? Oh, wait, there it is, there it is. How the hell did it get over there? He's like a, a light on it, a beacon. Oh. Okay. Crisis averted. Let's not smash into this this time. I'm kind of going to have to like scoop around it to slow it down if it's moving in velocity. Okay, if this is me moving at full speed, I can't actually catch it because when I hit it, it went faster than my maximum speed. It's like that episode of Futurama where Bender gets lost in space. You know, I am gaining on it, but I don't think I'm gaining on it fast enough. I hit it away way too quickly. Frigging hell. <laughs> That's fine, I didn't want whatever that weird suspicious probe was. I can probe myself. Wait. Well, anyway, that takes us to the hour for the preview of this for YouTube. We can try a proper game now afterwards as well. <laughs>